bit wet. We went to uh, got the boat from Brighton to Dieppe. Train from Dieppe to Paris. Cycle around Paris for a bit. Feel the same. Last year flew by. To the good vibes. What we now we're on the Rhine in Germany near yeah, Strasbourg. Where this is where the real cycling starts. First German time. Right, but second German time. Not as easy to look as it looks. Where we come from? And that's where we go. Oh wow. It's worth it, eh? That's better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me see over here. Where are we going? Into that in. It said 9k a minute ago. The last sign said 9k to Into that in. Why it was so hard. It's going from 200 meters to 1200 meters without any downhill. Been wet and cold. Tiring. Where's NH? Not where to go next. Oh. Haven't seen any of that wildlife. <laughs> so where are we? We're there. Mm -hmm. Rinkin. Oh, that's fine. Going into Hinterzassen and Lake Titty, and it's all downhill. little town called Stullingen, I think it's called. Probably not pronounced right at all. Um, we're just staying in this little campsite that's kind of weird. It's actually like a children's play area. I don't know. So you've got like children's play area there and then our tent. So that's a bit strange. Uh, and there's no one else here, even though there's loads of caravans. We're the only people, apart from another couple, who are also British and also cycling touring, so it's kind of weird. Hi, hi, Germany. Hello. This could be your next uh, stop. Screw the caravan. Hello. Hello. On the way to Camping Seahorn, <laughs> there's a still more lake that we followed all day. Some Alps in the distance and a ton of rain. This is a massive lake that neither of us know the name of. Near 
and stunts. That's the one. It's pretty awesome. It's not a lake constant. It's part of the Rhine. In the very distance you can see the Alps. Ha, ha, ha. 